This is the story behind Nokia's new branded default sounds, and Nokia's first ever sound logo. Let's start from where it all began 20 years ago. Nokia Tune was born in Nokia's first ever mobile phone ad, and it was first used as a ringtone in 1994. It later on lived in a TV comedy show, Hello! and featured in a Star Trek movie. People around the world also created their own versions. And a couple of years ago, the Nokia Tune starred in the world's biggest audio crowdsourcing contest. The Nokia Tune is heard roughly a billion times every day around the planet. This year, Nokia's internal design team updated this iconic sound. The work was led by sound designer Henry Dorr, with all five members of the team contributing. To understand where we are coming from, let's listen to how the sound has evolved throughout the years. Here we have the Nokia tune in its rough, monophonic buzzer form from 1999. As featured in the Nokia 3310, one of the best-selling mobile phones in history, with total sales of 126 million units. In 2003, the Nokia 3510 upgraded the sound to be polyphonic MIDI, something that Nokia was first to introduce. Another industry first was the introduction of MP3 ringtones, first used in high-end devices like the 9500 communicator. Reflecting the connecting people-driven brand and the new folk trends of the time, in 2007 the Nokia tune took a more musical, warm and acoustic direction, as heard in the N95. Nokia N9 introduced a new, pure and minimalistic direction in Nokia's industrial design. The sound design reflected this, going towards a more functional design direction. So in 2013, our internal sound team asked, where can we go next? It was also a key thing for us to create something meaningfully better, and not just new for the sake of new. For the new version of Nokia Tune, we had four key design drivers influencing the sound design. First of all, the sounds need to fit for the whole Nokia device portfolio, from the 15 euro Nokia 105 to the flagship Lumia 1020. Secondly, the Nokia brand is always human and advanced, so the design should have a human and crafted feel to it, not technical or overly synthetic. Thirdly, the pure industrial design direction is a key influencer also for the sounds so they should reflect that same minimalistic, yet colourful and bold character that Nokia devices have. And we must always consider the fact that we are designing for small speakers, something that instrumentation and arrangement needs to take into account. Testing and perfecting the sounds in the real-life context is also vitally important. We undertook lots of design exploration when starting the project, and ended up with four different sound design streams, which you will now hear samples from. We did consumer research in the beginning and towards the end of the project, and also had a group of sound experts who would review the final sounds. The two key takeaways from these were as follows. Firstly, do not try and focus our design towards the most cutting edge demographic. These people prefer to personalise, and they are very unlikely to use a default ringtone. The focus for our design should be on the larger, mainstream demographic, the people most likely to use the default ringtone. This research was done through qualitative street interviews within Europe. Secondly, towards the end of the project, the consumers and experts ruled out two of the streams. This was due to strong feedback regarding some of the sounds. These results were found through qualitative interviews with 15 experts and larger online tests, comprising 600 people and three continents. At the end of the project, we had a set of five default sounds, ringtone, message, calendar, email and alarm clock and a new sound logo for Nokia, the first ever in Nokia's history. We will hear these now in a video featuring the Nokia Asha 501, with the video ending to the sound logo.
after the project was finished, we've shared the story in the online media and uploaded the sounds to Nokia Store and Nokia Design Team's SoundCloud page. They've got hundreds of thousands of downloads and comments, which our team has carefully reviewed as feedback and validation on the design. The average score of 4 out of 5 for the new Nokia tune in Nokia Store can also be used as rough metrics for people's perception of the design. We believe that this unique connection between product sound and communication is building on the legacy and recognisability of the sounds. And through our internal way of working, we've managed to create an holistic design language that truly reflects Nokia's iconic industrial design. Thank you.